peace be upon him, was born. He was born without a father. Yes, indeed, that was one of his true miracles. But he was indeed born. He was in the womb for nine months, and he was born. So that, by its very nature, shows that he does not have the same quality and characteristics that God has. God cannot be born. Jesus was born. Now, when Muslims say, is, oh, this is the time Jesus, he was not exist, because this is the day, the day he was born in, you know, this is mean that Allah, when he became a, became a tree in the Quran, it's mean Allah, he became, this is the day Allah born as a tree, which means Allah was not exist before that. Maybe somebody will say, where in the Quran it says Allah born as a tree? Let me show you. This is the verse, as you see, chapter 28, verse number 30. But when he came to the fire, a voice was heard from the right bank of the valley, from a tree. From where? From a tree. Not from the bushes, as the Bible says. In the holy ground, even the ground in that tree is holy. This is, this is telling us that there is a physical existence of God in there. O Moses, Verily I am Allah, the Lord of the world. Who is speaking? The tree. So Allah, you know, do you, do you see those uh, magic stories when the tree speak? And here Allah is a tree. Does that mean Allah was not exist before that day? This is the day he, be, be, he was born as a tree. Because don't tell me Allah is always a tree. Unless you worship a tree and always Allah is a tree, it means he was not born, he is always a tree. The fact, according to Islam, Allah is a leg. He is not a tree. So he decided to show himself to Moses as a tree, which means he was born as a tree. Now, how long took the tree to become a tree? Ten years? Three years? Four years? It doesn't matter. It means there is a date when Allah, he became a tree. It means he was born at that date as a tree. And this is will refute what you are saying, that Jesus was not exist before he was born which is false. Now let us continue to the part follow after that. Number nine, let's get to Number this. nine would be that there are no explicit verses in any scriptural text, especially the Bible, that say so. Now God, when he speaks of things, when he talks of his own characteristics and who he is, he is very, very explicit. For instance, in, in Isaiah 46 and 9, God says that I am God and then there, no, there is nothing else. I am God and there is none like me. You, uh, also, the verses that Jesus quoted, he said, Hear, O Israel, which is one that is quoted in the Jewish synagogues every, uh, every time they have service. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is but one God, and then there is none else. And we all know the verses. You can go through the Old Testament. Here we go. You see how the Muslims, they play their game? Who said that we worship three gods anyway? And who said that Jesus is the second God? Jesus said, the one who saw me, he saw the Father, because we are one. So for sure we believe in one. Me and the Father is one. Can God be in many places in the same time? A question to every Muslim. I challenge him to say no. Because if God cannot be in many places in the same time, it's mean your God cannot be God. The second you say he can, he cannot, it means he is no God. God supposedly he can do whatever he wants. So if God can be in many places, in many persons in the same time, it's mean that this is the same God. It's not second God and third God. Can God be speaking to Moses in Jerusalem in the same time speaking to the different person in different different land? Yes, he can. Can he appear to somebody? in a place, in a shape of a man, in a form of a man, in the same time, in a person of a man, to make it, I'm using my, my English skills, forgive me. In a place, in the same time, he is in different place, yes, he can. So you see how they fool themselves, and now let, me, let us show you something else they will mention to us in this video. And read about God's characteristics when he describes himself. It is always explicit. Now, there are some verses in the New Testament which can be implicitly interpreted as Jesus having claimed some type of divinity. But if that was such a big characteristic, 
if it was such a big deal that Jesus was God, if this was the way to salvation, that he was God in the flesh, come to sacrifice himself for the sins of humanity, then that is something God would have been explicit about because it is an issue of salvation. God does not beat around the bush about these type of issues when it comes to who he is. He is very Look who is talking. God don't beat around the bush when it's about who is, who is he. Like, I, I challenge you even to tell me who is Allah. They don't know. Ask any Muslim who is Allah. They don't know. Or what they know, he is a creator. I'm not asking you what he do for a living, sir. Do you know even who is Allah? They don't know. Or what they know about him, he is a leg. They are legs worshipper. Who is Allah? They have no idea. Did you ever see Allah? No. Did Muhammad even saw Allah? No. Did even he, he spoke to Allah? He didn't spoke to him even. Muslims, they have no guarantee of their religion except somebody claimed that an angel spoke to him. That's it. Anyone saw this angel? No one. Even the wife of Muhammad never saw him. It's Muhammad only reporting a news. What if he is mentally sick? What if, what if he is crazy? There is a hadith says that the prophet, he used to imagine himself having sex with his wife when he never did. This is telling you that this guy is mentally sick. Because how you go out and you tell your people that, you know what, I was having sex with my wives when you never did. It's either a lie or it's you, are, you have a mental problem. Because you are imagining things never happen. So what is our guarantee that Muhammad is imagining the angel Jibreel in his house? And there is another hadith and many of them saying that even the prophet, he said and he claimed that he was under the black magic. Black magic, which means satanic control which mean he cannot be a prophet because the prophet is controlled by Satan is no prophet God don't beat around the bushes when he speak about himself God he said clearly who is he and we will show you that very clear with the children of Israel I am God there is none like me do not worship anything else period and Jesus came and quoted the same very verses so if it would have been an issue of salvation that he was God, he would have very clearly stated, I am God. I am God. He would not have told the, the Jews. When Let us show the Muslims that Jesus, he said, I am God from their Quran. By the way, uh, I will compare between the Bible and their Quran because this is the only way I can prove to those dummies. Because whatever you say to them, they will say, oh, this is not a true. This is where it says that. So let us show them from their Quran that this is what Jesus said that he is God if we go to the Quran chapter 57 verse number 3 it says he is the first and the last now did Jesus say that he is the first and the last and here by the way we can prove that the one who wrote the Quran as always cannot be Allah why or the one who sent the Quran because if Allah is speaking in here why he say he is He don't say, I am the first and the last. Now what Jesus, he said, let us go and see. And here we will see who is the one who is beating around the bushes without saying who is he. If we ask any Muslim who is Allah, they will not be able to tell you except that he is the creator. I'm not asking you what he do for a living. Can you tell me who is he? They have no idea. This is the Quran, chapter 57, verse number 3. He said, he is the first and the last. And here you ask yourself a question. You don't have to be genius to know. That if Allah is speaking why he's saying he is, shouldn't he say, I am? Simply because he is telling you about Jesus Christ. The proof is, this is one of my old videos. This is the verse saying, God said he is the first and the last. So when the Quran say he is the first and the last, he's talking about who? The God of the Christian. Because the here, the verse in the Quran, Allah is talking. If Allah is talking, he should say, if he is really the first and the last, he should say, I am the first and the last. In the same time, let us see, did Jesus say, I am the first and the last? Yes, he did. The first and the last, the Alpha and the Omega. So why Muslims lie always, they say, he never said, oh God, don't beat around the bushes. Their God is just a leg. And they do not know anything about their God except that he is a leg. Follow with me with the Kimi video, Christ is Lord, Islam for Dummies. 